What is the best sleeping position for thoracic scoliosis? Scoliosis causes the spine to unnaturally bend and twist, and it typically twists into the concavity of the scoliosis. A thoracic scoliosis means that the scoliosis curvature has occurred in the thoracic spine, which is your middle upper back. And this is one of the three main spinal sections. The thoracic spine is the definitely the largest section of the spine, but there are other sections of the spine, including the cervical spine, which refers to the neck, and the lumbar spine, which refers to the low back. Normally, the scoliosis is diagnosed by wherever your biggest curve is. So you may have a combination scoliosis, but your thoracic scoliosis is significantly larger than your lumbar, so therefore they'll call it a thoracic scoliosis. So therefore, just going by what your diagnosis being, like you have a thoracic scoliosis or a lumbar scoliosis, doesn't necessarily mean you don't have curves in another area, because normally the curves are diagnosed by the largest curvature. Now, scoliosis can cause a number of effects to the person's body, and this includes disruption to sleep. And this is because scoliosis, especially in the adult stage where it becomes compressive, is more likely to cause pain. And pain definitely affects the ability for a patient to get a good night's sleep because if a person's in pain, they can't get comfortable to sleep properly and they can't relax. We also know that scoliosis can make it difficult for patients to sleep that necessarily don't have pain because they have asymmetrical pressure points throughout their body and this asymmetrical pressure points can make it very unnatural, unsymmetrical, and they can't get in a comfortable position. And in very severe cases, it can be, or atypical cases, sometimes it can be difficult for a patient to fall asleep because they can't get into a rhythmic breathing cycle because of the asymmetry in the scoliosis and the way it affects the body. Some patients can also be prescribed nighttime bracing, and then sometimes nighttime bracing can affect the ability to sleep properly because the patients find it difficult to sleep comfortably in their brace. But when we look at somebody with a thoracic scoliosis, a curvature that's in the thoracic spine, what are some key things that we can talk about when it comes to how you should sleep? Because a lot of patients say, well, if I have a right thoracic scoliosis, well, maybe if I sleep, sleep on my left side on the concavity, it, the gravity will kind of push the spine straighter. Or some patients say, well, if I sleep on the side of the curvature and they try to put a pillow under, their cur under the curve, can the pillow push the spine into a straighter position? And the truth is, either one of these forces are significant enough, I believe, to have any effect on the size of curvature, you know, beyond a few degrees, because there's not enough force that's occurring. So normally we recommend sleeping in a way that can provide the most symmetry. And the one that provides the most symmetry is sleeping on your back. And sleeping on your back typically provides even body weighting where the body is evenly symmetrically on the spine with their head in a straight neutral position. Normally we're going to minimize pressure points. So normally we're recommending something like a medium to medium firm mattress or a mattress with a pillow top on there to give a little bit less pressure points to the asymmetries that occur in a patient with scoliosis. This is the most natural position that we can be to not cause any unnatural forces into the body. Now, the next best position, other than sleeping on your back, would be sleeping on your side. Now, when you sleep on your side, it has to be very, very important that you don't sleep with any type of twist. So normally, we want to have a position that you're either supporting your neck properly. You may have to use a, uh, like a pillow between your knees to prevent your hips from, uh, hips from rotating, and you want to stay in a very kind of a, a well-aligned position. One slide isn't better than the other side if you have a right or left thoracic scoliosis. I would would recommend just sleeping in a way that you can find yourself to get comfortable. The side, side sleeping is by far the next best way, but you have to stay sure that you don't twist and rotate. Now, the worst way for you to sleep would be laying face down, stomach sleeping, or in a twisted position. Now, stomach sleeping is not normally a great way to sleep for anybody because you're going to have to twist your neck, and that, that, neck can, that neck twist can cause unnatural forces to occur throughout the thoracic spine and the upper thoracic spine, which is a very often a problem for patients who have thoracic scoliosis. And also is like a twisted position where your shoulders are really rotated one way and your hips are kind of rotated another way, and you're kind of in a twisted side position or partially stomach position. There is a theory on scoliosis pro progression, and it's called the prerogative sleeping position. And what they mean by that is that there is like a twisting that's prerogating the scoliosis progression that's leading to it. And it is one of the theories of progression in a scoliosis patient. So then this twisted position is also not a good way. So by far the best way is on your back. Next best way is on your side, supported. But the best way of sleeping in a scoliosis 
outside of these general positions is sleeping in a corrective brace, in a brace that's actually pushing on your spine and your torso into a corrected position while you're sleeping in it. And these tend to have the best effect on your scoliosis. So if you're looking for what to have an almost positive effect on your scoliosis, would be sleeping in a corrective brace. Now we know the sleeping positions and sleep itself is something that's very important for a healthy lifestyle and for overall health. So getting good sleep is by far the most important thing. So with everything I said here, if you can't sleep in the positions I mentioned, and the only way you can sleep is in a, maybe a twisted position or even a stomach position, I would still recommend getting good sleep but slowly trying to retrain your body into sleeping into the better positions. And this normally requires you to try. So normally, like I used to be a stomach sleeper when I was younger, and now I only sleep on my back. I had to slowly train myself to go from my stomach to my side, to my side, to my back. And that typically involves trying to fall asleep in that position, going as long as you can until you can't take it anymore, and then going to the position that you finally fall asleep in. And eventually it starts to happen. You can retrain your body. So therefore, it's impossible to know exactly what position you're in all night long, but being as symmetrical as possible while you're sleeping will provide the very best results for you with your scoliosis. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.